Hey, Zach here from digitalconstructive.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at how to pass your C11 license exam. Now, the C11 elevator contractor license exam will be broken up into a few different sections, including planning and estimating, project preparation, installing and modernizing elevators, dumbwaiters, and lifts, conveyance, repair, maintenance, and service, and safety. And if you're unfamiliar with the C11 license, I suggest you watch our previous video that breaks down the license in its entirety. This video is going to focus primarily on the examination. Now, as is the case with all California contractor licenses under the C specialty classification, you'll also have to pass the CSLB Law and Business Exam, and that will include sections on business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, safety, and of course, public works. So essentially, the exam will be two portions, 115 questions of California law and business and 115 questions covering elevators. It's going to be multiple choice, closed book, you'll get three hours to complete each section, it's going to be computerized, and you'll take it at a CSLB testing facility. So remember, if you're applying from out of state, you will have to come to California to take the exam. Now, we've got a free guide that breaks down the entire licensing process from A to Z. There's sample questions, how to fill out the application, uh, the requirements, bonding. I suggest you check that out. You'll see a link up here in the top right-hand corner. Now, the elevator specialty portion of the exam is going to be extremely important. You'll be tested on a wide-ranging area of different topics, including planning and estimating, preliminary setup and permitting, electrical adjusting and testing, architecture scale, repair of elevators, dumbwaiters, and lifts, construction safety, disassembly and removal, elevator safety orders, and a lot more. Now, the mathematics that's going to be covered on the exam will definitely be your applied math. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You'll need to be familiar with calculating square footage, different units of measurement. Um, there's going to be a certain level of blueprint reading on this exam also. And then, of course, as with all licenses, generally there's a section covering job costing, um, estimation. So those are skills you'll definitely want to have also. Now, preparing for your, any California contractor license exam, obviously law and business is going to be huge. It's 50% of the exam, so you got to be familiar with all the different possible questions that could come up under the law and business section. You want to be familiar with your trade-specific fundamentals. You want to see a variety of the possible questions. Again, in California, you know, there's no separation of residential, commercial. You know, everybody's doing the same license. So in some states, for example, there might be a residential home elevator license and then a separate one for, you know, commercial buildings. Not the case in California. It's just the C11 license. So you've got to be familiar with um, a lot of different areas of expertise. California Health and Safety Codes. California takes workers' safety, job site safety, environmental safety uh, extremely, extremely seriously. So you've got to be familiar with that, especially if you're applying from out of state. Math skills. As I said, you want to know your common equations, formulas. You want to make sure that you're tight on basic math. Have some test taking experience, online practice tests, flashcards, uh, timed exams with not only questions and answers, but answer explanations are extremely helpful. You'll want to see walkthroughs of the exam with licensed contractors, lawyers who can help you kind of decipher the legal language and not only help you pass the exam, but give you a lot of insight in how to run a, a profitable you know, contracting company in California. All of this is included in our program. We've got a complete C11 license course that I suggest you check out. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, like and subscribe to our channel. And again, my name is Zach from digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.